Hello and welcome to my second how-to video. So in this example, I intend to add an additional HMI to an existing SIMA code system. Now, the idea is that it will be used on a direct online setup. So if anybody has any questions about the application or about the example, please feel free to leave them in the comments box below. Thank you. So in this next example, we're going to be adding an additional HMI to the existing application which we've just created for the DOL. So next we're going to add the HMI to the direct online starter configuration. The direct online starter sequence we are trying to achieve will be when push button 2 on the HMI is pressed, the motor starts and when push button 4 is pressed, the motor stops. So when the motor is running, the stop push button illuminates on the HMI and when the motor has stopped the green push button illuminates on the HMI and just to give you an idea of the general operation you can see that in this in this video so now we've seen the general operation we can now move on to configuring the task So to achieve this next next task, um, what we'll do is we'll create or we'll save this project um, with with the correct steps that we already have in for the direct online task. Once that's been done, we can then go into project, go to save as, and we can change the name of this, and we'll call this one now the HMI task and then we'll save that so we can save the project as the HMI task so as you can see that's now changed to HMI task well, once we're happy with that we can do a similar kind of approach to what we did with the first task we go into device configuration what hardware do we need well we've got the correct CT and VT we've got the correct base unit we've got the correct digital module but we need to put in a HMI here so we go to the hardware library we go to the operator panels and we select the correct OPD. So once you're happy with the correct part number, double click on it and then you'll get the HMI pop up um, in the hardware configuration. So we can minimize the hardware catalog now. We can go into parameters. Now to um, all the parameters have been stored still from our original created folder through the direct online task. So what do we need to change? Well, um, the only thing that we need to edit is the motor control station. So in motor control, in control station, you can see here um, the operator selection has been turned off and minimized. Um, we're only going to be entering local two. Um, so with that in mind, we need to switch local to on here and we want an on and an off command command so we'll select that so the operator push button we want for off will be op4 so if you go into inputs op push buttons op push button 4 that will now be initiated of the off command and the on command we want op2 inputs OP, OP2. So once that's done, we can then start having a look at how we illuminate those push buttons. So in outputs, we now have the operator panel, which has been added in here. Select operator panel. Go to the dotted line on the LED for green output two. That needs to be assigned for the off command. And for the stop push button, we want the green light to come on so that's the on command select that once we're happy with that we can then download that into our SIMA code station um, in a similar way which we did with the direct online um, click on load and once that's done we can now test for the correct operation <laughs> 